Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating an AI car. So this car will be doing the race alongside you and it can win, it can be in first, second, or third place. Um, now, we'll start off by going in the third per in the car, in the vehicle blueprint, and let's duplicate the car by just doing Control w which will duplicate it, and let's just name this AI. And then we'll open it, and in this, we won't be needing most of this code. So what we'll do is just delete all this. Also, if you open up the variables, control, compile and save, you open up the variables and we, we also won't be needing all those variables. So what I'm going to do is just delete most of them. First, I'm going to delete the spring arm, the camera, everything except the vehicle movement and the mesh. Now in this, I'm going to take off gear display color. Actually, I'm not going to delete that. So I'm going to keep the blue ones. Now that's the heads up display. Now that's a function. Now let's just delete the functions. And now what we can do is we have no more warnings, which is good. Let's just delete the move forward and move right. Now let's do an event begin play. Now let's connect that to there. Or first, we're actually gonna you're gonna hold S, or left click, and it's gonna make a sequence. Then connect that the event begin play in the sequence for the zero and the one. It's gonna be in both same things. Compile and save. We're just gonna change that to one. Now what we're gonna do is just put the AI car in there. And I'm just going to click play. And now you can see the AI car is just going forward, but it's just spinning around and around, which is not what we want it to do. We want it to follow a spline, a follow a path, which it can. What we're going to do now is create a new blueprint class. And the blueprint class will be an actor. And now we can just name this path. So that's the path which the AI will be following. And then in here, we only have to add one simple thing, an add component, you're gonna look up spline, and you're just gonna add a spline in there, and that's it. Now we can compile and save. And we can go ahead back in the viewport. Now we're gonna open the AI car, and let's just create a new folder to put all the AI in there. And there you go. Now in the AI car, we're going to create a new function called get path. Now here, compile, compile and save. We're going to create a new input on the right. And we're going to call this spline and we're going to change this to the path. So you're going to look up path and you're going to find the path and you're going to make it an object reference and then change that to an array. And then for the output, we're going to look, we're going to name it steering and then we're just going to make that into a float. And we're also going to change the green to a string. Now let's look, get copy, a copy, and then find target, so get find target closest to world location, and then get actor, 
location. Now this is going to get the actor location. And then out of that, we're going to do normalize. In the return value, we're going to get a vector times float. So vector times float, and the float value is going to be 500. And then out of that, we're going to do vector plus vector. And then the value is going to be the location. So slide that in there. And then this, we're just going to change it to world. That's really important. And then out of that, do find locations, find location closest to world and slide that in there. And then again, out of this, find location. And we're going to plug that in there. Out of the return value, do delta. And then another get actor rotation this time. And plug that into the B. And do that world again here. And then let's split the structure. Out of the Y, you're going to do map map range and it's going to go minus 90 90 minus 1 and 1 now let's slide the output and plug that in there and that's all we have to do here. Now I'm just going to add a comment by selecting everything and pressing C. And the comment's going to be follow path. Now, if we play, well, actually, let's delete that and move it on the road just so that we can create a path for it. This is about where I want the starting line to be. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to put the path in there and that's what he's going to be following. And since it's a spline, I can enlarge it. So I'm going to press on the other one and just slide that out there. While I'm doing that, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And now I'm just going to add my player start in there. And as you can see, this car is still turning around. So we're not quite done in there. What I'm going to do is open the car AI. And in the event graph, we have to change a couple of things here. So I'm going to bring this up, the steering input. Unplug that. And now here, I'm going to right click, event tick, out of the event tick, to get all actors of class, the class is going to be the AI, AI car, actually it's going to be the path, sorry, the class is going to be the path, and out of that, we're going to do get path, plug that in there, the steering and the steering, and that in there. 
Now if you press play, you can see the car is now following the path. Now the car does not have any coding in it to tell it to slow down in corners or any logic in it. So it's just a basic following the route kind of car. I'm going to bring the speed of the car down because it's going and I'm also going to change it to a truck and because it still drifts. So if you get to a corner, it won't know to slow down. It's just following its path. It's following its code. That would be something more complex that I might do in the future. But right now, that's what we're going to do is just an AI car following a path. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. And see you guys next time.